Issam Khoury was forced to flee his home and seek asylum in the U.S. because of the civil war in Syria. He claims he was tortured for his political activism against Syria President Bashar al-Assad. I lost my home, many homes I lost it inside uh, Syria. He's been in the U.S. for three years with his wife and three children. They faced many challenges, including the language barrier, being separated from their loved ones, and not being allowed to travel outside of the U.S. But he says the biggest challenge of being a refugee was waiting six months to receive a work permit, which he needs to renew every year. It's hard for you to explain your situation for any employee, employer, how you can find good work to, to support your family. Lexi Sherishevsky lived in Syria for a year and a half before the 2011 Arab Spring. Moved by the changes the country has undergone, she started the non-profit Syria Fund to help refugees. They are just like us. I know that seems kind of cliche, but really they are. I mean, they have so much more in common with, people have so much more in common with each other than things that set us apart. And they are people who are looking to provide for their children. They are looking for a place that is you know, safe and warm for them to put their kids to bed and put food on the table and get their kids into a classroom. So far, the U.S. has only taken 10,000 Syrian refugees out of 13.5 million, which is less than 0.1 percent. But the travel ban proposed by Donald Trump will stop all of the Syrian refugees from entering America. Immigration lawyers say that would have a very significant impact. The ban will have a great effect on the refugee community. Many people trying to get their loved ones, their business associates and other people in harm's way into the United States are going to find themselves restricted. The Trump's administration ban has been temporarily blocked by two federal appeals courts. It's now been passed to the Supreme Court, which could rule in the coming weeks. Ban or no ban, Curry is allowed to stay even though he hopes to one day return to his home in Syria. Sure, I miss Syria, and I must return. Anya Chapman, New York.